ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, Austin Creed. I want to welcome you to the show this morning. My friends, wow, you're looking at a beautiful view this morning. Here, I would recommend if you don't go for walks, you should definitely go for some walks. They're very refreshing, very mind-opening in the morning. Plus, cardio is just good for you. Speaking of what's good for you, you know, I was thinking this morning as I was getting my coffee, getting a little bit of breakfast and early this morning as I was preparing for the show, I was thinking, this show centers around truth and the pursuit of truth and exploiting the lies that we're told throughout our lives. One of the biggest lies that we're told evolves around dating and relationships. That's why I wrote an entire book on it, Biblical Bachelor. And while Biblical Bachelor is not fully about dating relationships, it hinges upon this idea that marriage doesn't always work for most people. It can work for some, but not for all. And one of the reasons that relationships are not working today is because women are forced to lie. Now, I don't blame them for doing this, by the way. I really don't. And the reason why I don't is because a lot of men can't handle the truth. A lot of men, our egos are tied up in our sexuality. They're tied up in our ability to perform in the bedroom, to perform in our relationship. And when women tell us the truth about their past, they tell us the truth about how they think, they tell us the truth about how, they're, how they operate their lives, we often penalize them for doing so. We call them names. Some of you might even raise your hand to them, which I would never, never advocate for. Never, never, never the right, never the right way to go. But I don't blame women for lying to men. Do I wish that they wouldn't? Yes. Should you lie to me? Never. Why? Because I can handle the truth. I can handle that I'm not the best in the bedroom you've ever had. I can handle the fact that you've had a, you know, a past. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to wife you up. That doesn't mean I'm going to give you what you want. I never guarantee that. But what I will tell you is this, gentlemen, you got to stop judging women. Why? Because then they won't tell you the truth. Because then you're getting false information and making sometimes permanent choices off of inaccurate information. Now, I'm not saying you need to give them a hall pass. I'm not saying that you need to give them a hoe pass. But they will not tell you their actual past, the truth of their life, if you are going to judge them for it. Or they feel, feel is the key word here, they feel like you're going to judge them. Now, you can judge them if you want to, but don't call them names, don't lash out, do not air their business or change and get defensive on them. Don't do it. Just like you don't want to be judged, don't judge them. Gentlemen, if you ever want to see success in relationships, you need to not judge women because otherwise they'll tell you a lie. If you think that I'm making this up or this is foul, go on the internet and look up the podcast interviews, the sometimes fake street interviews, all these things. There is truth in humor and there's truth in reality. And the reality is I want to unveil this truth to you that you need to stop judging women. Not because they're better than you or holier than you or have the moral high ground because that's not true. But the moral high ground is not the issue. It's that if you want the truth, you need to be able to handle said truth because most of you can't. Most of you can't handle the fact that your, that your wife probably had a huge hoe phase back in the day. Maybe she had trains drawn on her. Maybe she was taking it up the tailpipe. Maybe she was doing all kinds of stuff, but you She wouldn't tell you that because she knows you can't handle that. You'd call her names. You'd call her all this stuff. Guess what? You probably don't have a spotless past either. And again, I'm not saying that you need to accept the degeneracy. I'm not saying you need to do that. But I'm saying you are probably going to unknowingly accept it if she can't even talk about it. What I do is I assume, I assume that there's a huge hoe phase, that there's I assume things in people's past until proven otherwise. And you can call me whatever name you want for that. I call it being realistic and following statistical data. 
But my friends, my whole point of doing this is to help you realize that you will never get the truth if you're going to punish people for them being honest with you and telling you the truth. Never punish people for telling you the truth. Now, you can do whatever you want with said information, but you're not even going to get said information if you hold it against them, you punish them, and whatnot for telling you the truth. You need to be able to hold masculine frame. You need to be able to sit there and say, hey, you know what? I thank you for telling me the truth. If people feel as though you're not going to judge them, they're more likely to open up to you. This is just a fact. And then you can deal with said information, whatever you want. But you're not even going to get that information. If they, if you come at them calling them hoes and skeezers and sluts and whatever, that's not going to happen. Now, whether it's true or not, that's a different, that's a different discussion entirely. But my friends, you are not going to get the information that you need to make prudent, long-term choices if you you force people to lie to you. And when I say force them to lie, I mean people are going to serve their own self-interest. And if she believes it's in her own self-interest to lie to you to protect herself, she's going to do that. And I don't blame her for doing that, which is why you need to fix yourself. Now, I'm not in the business of fixing women not going to work. It's not going to happen. Why? Because I'm a realist. (laughs) So gentlemen, you have to realize what is happening out here in these streets and you have to accept it. You have to accept the reality that most women are not virgins, if all. And you have to accept the fact that if you want to get in a serious relationship with a woman, she probably has a past that you don't like. Just because she ain't told you or just because she told you you were the best, or she loves you, and blah, 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 you have to realize that a lot of that is probably not true. Or she's leaving out the fact that she loves that you have money, or that you have a house, or that you're working really hard, and she's spending most of the money. And these are just arbitrary examples of what I'm talking about, because I want you to do what's best for you. I want you to win, but you can't win a war game, which is what life is, if you have faulty or inaccurate information. The war is won, the battle is won, before the fight begins. And that is during the informational stage. And if you can't even get the right information, you're going to make a false move. You're gonna make a bad move that's going to hurt you. And I don't want that to happen to you. But that's why you need to stop judging people and punishing them for what they tell you. You could hate it, but guess what? You should be glad that they told you the truth. In fact, if you don't like it, it probably is true. That's how I operate. I'll be honest with you. If I like it, my first reaction is to say, oh, hold on a second. This is probably fake. This is probably a lie or a half truth at best. So let's figure out the real reality of the situation. My friends, that's what I would advocate that you do. Because if you're not going to come out here and want the truth, then people are going to sell you a dream and like a guppy in a fish tank, you're going to go up there and take the bait and then you're going to live X number of years. You're going to look back and you're going to say, huh, where did this go wrong? How did this happen? Well, there it is. Happened a long time ago because you built an entire skyscraper on faulty, failing foundation. And that is why your building of your life is falling apart. In the Bible, it talks about, and now, yes, I bring up religion. I think it's important. Religion has a lot of good teachings in it. Do not pl- do not build your house on the sand because it will shift. And when the rain comes, it will be, be washed away. But build your house, your life, upon the rock. Because when the rain comes down and the wind comes, it will not blow over. That rock is you. Not a woman. Not a man, if that's the way you swing. Do not build your existence on somebody else who could at any point in time decide they don't want to be part of it anymore. You need to build it upon yourself and upon your belief system, whatever that may be. You could agree with me, be a biblical bachelor. You can go out there and live any other alternative lifestyle, or you can even opt for a traditional one, even though I would not recommend that. That's entirely your choice. Do not judge people, especially women, for the 
the information that they have, the past that they have, because then women talk, gentlemen. And if she finds out that you judge people, you punish people for telling you the real, then they'll give you the fantasy more than happily. But if they feel as though you're not going to judge them, people will tell you the truth. Not people includes includes women. Because last time I checked, women are people. (laughs) No, they're not robots. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own past, their own experiences, their own dark side and light side to themselves. So my friends, if you want to live in the pursuit of truth, you need to be able to handle said truth. And I guarantee you, 90% of the time, if not more, you're going to hate what you hear. But that's the real that you need to make yourself better, more resilient, and stronger to sow the seeds to reap the reward that you want. Living in fantasy land will feel good and you'll achieve nothing in life. Or what you'll achieve can be taken from you. You need to understand the reality you're living in. You need to know your rights. You need to know the rights of passage you need to go through as a man. And one of those rights of passages is to understand that judging people for giving you the truth will only hinder you and force them to give you a fantasy that will only hinder you and cause you to flounder and fail in life. My friends, I hope you use this for, to motivate yourself and inspires you to become more accepting so that then you can adapt and move through your life more adequately and with more stealth. You need to build the empire on the low. My friends, I hope you use this to help yourself. Not to hate, but to help. My friends, God bless you. God bless your families. And God bless the United States of America. We're out of here. Peace. If you like the show, I'm sure you know what to do. You can follow me on X. You can follow me on any podcasting platforms, YouTube, Rumble, wherever it is that you like to watch best, that's where you'll find me. Until then, my, my friends, enjoy yourselves. I'm out. Peace.